Thank you. Thank you. Um, not everyone needs an Ivy League education, and I would recommend that nobody that wants a future, if you're really super smart, if you're smart enough to get in there, you should never walk through those doors. <laughs> Steve Jobs didn't. Bill Gates didn't. I didn't. Most people I know that are really successful never went that way. It puts you in a box. Tricky thing about talking about the issue is that, like we said earlier, things are so polarized and politicized that people will immediately wonder what it is you're against if you start talking about what it is you're for. And so, I'm for individualism. Sure, but take what we just saw. A yeah. lot of people will look at that and go, well, oh, there it is. Mike's against the college education. I'm not against a college no. education. No. I'm against debt. I'm a fr that's was the mm -hmm. only four letter word in my family that was strictly yep. right. And so, yep. you know, Ethan, your guy on the board there who mm -hmm. does some great work, uh, he tells the story pretty well. It's you know we got three million jobs that for whatever reason people don't seem to want. You have over a trillion dollars in student loans right now, and guess what? We're holding the note on some of that. And you've got over a 7% unemployment rate and a labor participation rate over 60%. We're lending money we don't have to kids who will never be able to pay it back to train them for jobs that no longer exist. That's crazy, right? So that's what we've been doing for the last 40 years. That poster that I was talking about, it was hanging in my guidance counselor's office, Mr. Dunbar, who in 1979 told me with a straight face, that my future was either at James Madison or the University of Maryland, neither of which I could afford. More to the point, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I said, I've got a plan for a community college. At 28 bucks a credit, I can afford to be wrong, and I'm going to go sort it out. And that's when he points to the poster and says, Mike, which one of these guys do you want to be? Oh, my gosh. Right? So here's the thing. That college needed a PR campaign in the mid-'70s. It did. We needed more people to actively use their brain. But like all PR campaigns, it, it went too far. And we started promoting college at the expense of all those vocations I right. mentioned that my grandpa did. Right. And suddenly those things become vocational consolation prizes. Vocational school is almost like school for the retarded. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's, we it's, don't, uh, Mr. Beck, we really don't think no, you I have know what that. it takes no, to uh, make it here. Yeah, uh, but we could put you in the this. special school. Yes, here, can you put the glass on to do Right. Good. That's crazy. Good. I, I, have a, I, have a, I have a farm up um, in the Mountain West and these people are the hardest working people. They're the most honest, decent, smartest. They could fix Washington. You send them in there, they'll fix it. Sure. And and they don't they, they just they they stand there all the time. I'm up there and they'll stand up and one of the other farmers will come up and he'll be like, What the hell is wrong with everybody? <laughs> I mean, they're smarter than the people who Go to these institutions, and we need people to go to colleges, but not Absolutely. everybody needs that. It's, it's not about this is good or this is bad. It's about when, right. it, when did it make sense to say one size fits everybody. Thank you. It never, ever, ever, Thank ever you. made sense to do that, and yet we're still selling education the same way we sold it back when you and I were in high oh, school. Oh, no, I think we are selling it ten times hard, ten times harder than, than then, and I think... Even since the crash, we have doubled down on that. People are now being told, if you're in school, stay in school. Go get your doctorate. For what? For what? Of the three million jobs currently available that companies are struggling to fill, what percentage would you guess require a four-year degree? Twelve? Wow. Estimates between eight and twelve. 90% of the jobs that are available right now require skill. They don't require a diploma. You don't get that in school. Well, look, it's, you're not buying an education. You're buying a diploma. Right. The education, look, Matt Damon said it in Goodwill Hunting. One of the day you Harvard boys are going to figure out that 150 grand you spent is available at the Boston Public Library. That's right. Right? So, but that's not me saying don't go to college. I'm saying to start your life, 150 grand in the hole, yes. 80 grand in the hole, with your art history major or your poli sci oh or your mid eastern studies, and not be able to find work in that career, 
That's why you got a trillion dollars in debt. These right. kids can't find a job that they've been trained for, and the but, expectation is it should be waiting for me. It ain't. It's not. 